Hi, I'm Johnny and I'm here to be your guide to getting your stunning ticketing page up and running. This video will be best viewed on your laptop or desktop, but if you're on your phone, make sure to turn it sideways and pop out the video so you can see my face as large as possible. Also, we've put markers in the video timeline to help you skip around to any topic at any time. Okay, let's dive in. To build your ticketing page, we're going to show you five things in this video. First, we'll choose a ticket page template, which you can modify in any way you like. Then we'll customize the look and branding of your ticket page. Next, we'll add the important content information about your event. Of course, we'll perform some Harry Potter wizardry with conditional logic actions. And finally, we'll preview your ticket page and move toward publishing and going live. To get started, let's choose a great looking template. All ticketing pages start with a beautiful template, so feel free to find the perfect one for your event. But don't worry, you won't be stuck with a rigid look you can't update. All of the templates are 100% customizable. Like a frozen yogurt shop with 100 flavors and ridiculous toppings, you'll be able to add and build to your heart's content. Let's select this one. We'll give a few more details about my event, including the type of event it is. And all set. Let's kick off our fall festival. Now let's customize the look and branding of our ticket page. When we drop into our real view builder, let's make sure we update our ticketing page with our own branding and logo. We'll now head to the design settings where we can select colors to pair nicely with our logo and banner, making the ticketing page feel like an effortless extension from your website. I mean, no one wants to have their ticket provider's logo plastered all over the page. <coughs> Event right? Simply hit this edit button and swap out the logo here. Now let's make a few adjustments to the height and alignment, and bam, we're one step closer to a custom page. Next, let's head into the banner section where we can add our own event image or video to the banner background, manage text overlays, and customize till it's just right. We're only scratching the surface of what's possible with Ticket Spice Design, so be sure to check out our Help Center for more guidance. Now let's add the important content about our event. For basic and important information about the event, let's include this above the dotted line. I'm going to add some event details, location, and directions here. Okay, now let's get into the meat and potatoes of our ticket page. Let's head to the ticket block where we can edit our ticket information. You'll see here we have options for standard or date-based tickets as well as a series of events. Check out our help center for help with the nitty gritty setup to get it just right for your event. Now, if we head to the add a question box, we can collect names and personal information for each ticket level if we want or need more information per ticket. Before we move on, let's go ahead and tap into that cash cow with some optional add-ons and merchandise. Below the ticket block, we'll add the merchandise field so we can sell our fall festival t-shirts, drink koozies, and other pieces of swag attendees can add on to commemorate our event and help rake in a little bit more dough. Just as your ticket page is shaping up, you may want to go one step further and add conditional logic actions. An action is like having a magic wand to make your ticketing page magically adjust pricing, options, and visibility of any part of your ticketing page. Normally, only the tech geniuses could do this kind of stuff, but you can do it all yourself. The most common way to use actions is to dynamically change the price based on any condition you set. Let's say you want to offer the first 100 tickets at 20% off, you can create an action for that. Maybe you want to increase the price 20% for the remaining 100 tickets. With conditional logic, you have full control over your ticketing strategy. Don't forget, our help center can guide you further on which actions are best for your needs. Oh, and don't forget to add purchase protection to your event in case an attendee runs into any unforeseen challenges. The final step is saving and previewing our ticket page getting us one step closer to publishing and setting live. As we build our page, hit the preview button to take a spin on your ticketing page just as your attendees would experience it. We can even check out and test the confirmation page and emails in preview mode. Still want to make more edits? No problem. Return to the builder and make any additional changes until it's perfect. When our ticket page is in its perfect place, the next step is publishing and setting up the payment processor, which we'll cover in the next video. Will we see you there? We hope so. On to the next video.